Insight, season 11, episode five, oh, five, <laughs> uh, review. Welcome back to Couples Couch. This is Pat. And I'm Cam. Let's get into the recap of episode four really fast. So, recap. <laughs> Remember, all the couples got married, and now they're on their way, their way to their honeymoon in Mexico. That's so. This episode of Couples Couch is going to be a very high level overview of what happened in episode five, last night's episode, because I feel like I don't want to be redundant. Yeah. And I hate I hate feeling like I'm saying the same thing all the time. So I'm not going to hit on topics that they hit on in the last four episodes. I'm only gonna point out the highlights that I thought were interesting. New stuff. Yeah, like who wants to hear the same old stuff every time? So They really didn't go into too many, much more detail than what we've already known from four episodes ago. So I, I feel like I didn't wanna rehearse the same thing over and over. I feel like they'd be dragging out where the drama All would become. All of these episodes. Yeah, like what are y'all waiting for? Just like this, this season Lifetime. could definitely be like four episodes and be done with this season. <laughs> Don't you think so? What's happened so far could have not been anything. This could have been an email. <laughs> they could have a text email. message, yo. <laughs> yes. So the episode opens up with the couples um, waking up on their first day of their honeymoon. Um, and they show a, a scene where Woody and Amina are discussing their past sexual experiences. Should be interesting. I just felt like body grabbing and say she wanted to shut her off to me. I can't. I don't want to have sex with you. I can still have my head. Yeah, but you know what I'm telling you? What do you want? I definitely have a doctor's birthday. I have not had as many experiences. Okay. And so, like, how well are you with coaching or, like, I'm not going to say, like, I'm a teacher idiot. But am I trained? Yeah, I would say so. I think my wife not being experienced in sex, I don't think it's an issue or a problem because one, not to say like it's a like a show movie thing, but I'm somewhat experienced. I just really go with my best moves all the time. Best moves? Yeah. Bow, bow, bow. Yeah. Bow, bow. Yeah. Yeah. Amani, and forgive me, I feel like I'm always saying Amina. Amani is saying that she hasn't had a lot of um, sexual experiences, and then here come Woody talking about you know, because she's his wife, he don't plan on using too many of his good moves with the bow, bow, bow. I mean, like, really? Like, this is what you're talking about on day one of your honeymoon? I'm married at first sight. Like, are you just coming out the gate like this? Yes. <laughs> this is what we doing here? Yes. Next scene shows the couples going on their excursions, um, and then Woody is out swimming with Amani, and he loses his ring. Woody your watch. In the water. Oh, my. He jumps in the water, and he loses his ring. Ring is gone. You couldn't. Guys can go in swimming, take all your jewelry off. Or you will be Woody in the pool or whatever that was. What was that? The ocean it looked like. <laughs> <laughs> and you have no more wedding ring. You haven't even had the ring for a good 24 hours. Well, let's say this. At least he didn't drown. The ring can be replaced. He can't be replaced. That's the way I'll, I'll look at it. But I She know him for a day. He can't be replaced. <laughs> I am dead, y'all. I can't. Ain't no winning with this one. Let's move on to the next scene. Next scene shows the couples discussing how they feel about each other. So Henry and Christina are asked, you know, to speak on their connection within the group um, of the couples. Um, and let's see what they have to say. Yeah, like the more we go with it, the better we'll be, I think. Uh, uh, uh. Cool. Like, we're both like... You know, we've been having a really good time just talking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, honestly, pretty weird, almost in a sense, because look, looking at them is just like, I don't know that they talk, I don't know if they hold hands, I don't know if they even kiss them. I think, yeah, I think you're like, you know, we all move at our own pace, and I think it's just trying not to compare yourselves, like, you know, 
the other couples around you. So I'm trying to take it at a pace that's like comfortable. It's comfortable for me. You know, like I mean, I've like never even like approached anybody at like a woman at a bar before. Like I'm just like super. I'm just always nervous about things. I'm always like overthinking things. And so I'm not usually an open person, but I'm trying my best right now. Do you feel like over time you would get like more comfortable, and yeah. then you would be like more aggressive? Uh, I, you know, I don't know. Like, I really don't. Henry, 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 here I was thinking it was Christina. And it's Henry. Now I'm feeling bad for Christina. That boy ain't got no bite in him. He's just very, is it timid? I don't know what it is, but he just seems so unsure of himself. I don't know where he's going with this. Like, he just seems very not with it. Uh, Christina gonna have a hard time. Yeah, that's gonna be some issues. I. She. He. <laughs> we. We got nothing. Now we gotta. We stand corrected. It's yeah, not I, her. I, 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 I apologize. Yeah. Let's just move on to the next couple. <laughs> we got nothing. Seeing Amani is talking about how she is concerned um, about being scared that this relationship may not work out or the the marriage may not work out because in the past um, she has had good experience just like this one starting off good but then can end up going left and she in the back of her head is just thinking about the what ifs um and she's just really concerned i feel like i've always had great connections initially and then it just turns out to be like not a great thing I think everybody thinks that to a degree like it's so good that it could be too good to be true you know I kudos to her for expressing that clear and concise and straight to the point you know what I mean yeah, this ain't gonna work out uh with Amani and Woody nope. you don't think so why because he's not even interested like I can see it in him you think so he's yeah, not he's like not he, paying no yeah, yeah. Then she did say in there that she was not gonna make him pay she's gonna make him pay Next couple, Karen and Miles, are discussing their past experiences. And Miles tells Karen that he has been in a serious, he has been in 10 serious relationships prior to getting married to her. So now Karen is worried, is she just going to be number 11? Like, my dad jokes, but like, <laughs> it's kind of real. Like, I've been in like 10, like, monogamous relationships. Like, straight up. I've been in two relationships since I was 18, and I'm older than you. So the fact that he's been in 10 serious relationships, that seems like a lot, being only at the age of 26. I wonder, is he just a relationship hopper? Like, is it from one person to the next? Am I just number 11? So with Miles only being 26 and been in 10 serious relationships, I don't know if he's counting from kindergarten or what. <laughs> I don't know when these relationships started, so I can't 100% gauge. Like, how do you have that much time to be in 10 serious relationships and you're only 26, you know? How long were they? How serious were they? There's a lot of factors. 26 years old, why are you worried so much? Like, I don't know. I think, think people crowd or cloud the present with the past. Like, did you know him? So what does it matter to you, really? So the next couple is Olivia and Brett, and they're discussing their do's and don'ts of a relationship. So Brett um, expresses that he doesn't like anyone peeing in front of him with the door open. Meanwhile, Olivia is like, I don't mind someone peeing in front of me. That's pretty natural. Um, but going number two, like nobody needs to be involved when that's going on. Like you need to do that on your own. And But she did confess that she does pee or has peed in the shower while taking showers. Not peeing in front of me, that'd be weird. Yeah, that's weird that you don't like anybody to pee in front of you. You like people to pee in front of you? Well, I don't mind it, it doesn't bother me. I think it's normal. That's animal. Animals do it. 
The, Are we no better than animals? Going number two, I totally understand. That is a private matter. Nobody needs to see that, hear that, smell that. In front of girls, the end. I'll see the child. That's a place to bathe. I don't see him in the child, but I have seen him in the child. Oh my god. I am learning about my wife. She does not like suitcases on the bed, but it's perfectly fine to just pee in the shower. I don't know. Oh my god. That's not something humans do. Who hasn't peed in the shower? Of course, you don't go number two in front of no one. Who pees with the door closed in your own house? Like, when you're married. Weirdo. Anytime. <laughs> That's Weirdo, true. like That's if it's my house. Right. Like, I don't know what the sound of pee does to him. Like, it's just pee. Oh, he's going to have a hard time when he has kids. It's a lot of dudes on here with a lot of ketchups. Like, yeah. Geez. What about when they have kids? What's going to happen there? Because all privacy goes out the window once kids are, right? I've seen little hands under the door while trying to use the bathroom. Yeah. So, they gonna have I a lock room. the door all the time. Right, I, and I, what does and what does PJ ask you when you're going, uh, when you're using the bathroom, when he knocks on the door? Are you doing number one or number two? Yep. <laughs> if it's number one, he wants in. <laughs> he will click, 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 yeah. click, click, unlock the door, click, 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 click. Exactly. And then you open the door, he's like... He just wants to see. And then walks off, <laughs> like... Weird. So, yeah. He's, he's going to have a hard time. So yeah. let's move on to the next, next scene. Shows the couples waking up on day two for their honeymoon. Miles and Karen, Wood, Woody and Amani um, are on the shuttle heading to the uh, excursion. And this is where Miles decides to refer to Karen as a cougar. Remember, of course they... she's going to throw a fit. <laughs> Like, she already <laughs> don't like him. Like, it's... she don't. And here you come calling her a cougar on top of it, because she he's twenty six and she's thirty, and she feels like that's his sugar mama. Yeah, it's so much more to worry about than these dumb comments. Like, so much more. Like, you don't care what the person's age is when you're deep into your marriage. That has no bearing on none of the problems that are coming. That and he will call you worse things than cougar. <laughs> Especially from the attitude I've seen you have. This is true. Let's move on to the next, next scene. Shows Henry and Christina out at their excursion. Um, they decide to go mud swimming. And Henry is put completely out of his comfort zone. Monica. For marriage, I'll do anything. I think I'm just gonna like make it my life's mission to like make Henry have more fun. Yeah. He doesn't want to like get his hair dirty or like I really I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. Why did you get your hair in my life? Laundry was fun. It's definitely not something I normally do. I typically don't swim, or therefore I don't float. And I don't typically get dirty. It's just a little outside of my comfort zone. I just typically don't get dirty. <laughs> Where did y'all get this dude? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I know it's 2020, but really, where is this dude from? I don't know. He doesn't even want to get dirty. I thought I men are... Swim. Men are supposed to be grungy dirty. I don't typically dirty. get dirty. I don't typically talk to girls. <laughs> what do you typically do? 
He is so out of his comfort zone. He looks like he could pop. Don't it? I'm out of my comfort zone being wet and dirty and, and around swim. a girl. Therefore, I don't float. They must weed a certain type of dude completely out of this show. Because dudes, I know... The excursion, we'd have at least been 30, 45 minutes late for it, if we would have showed up. <laughs> like, the producers would have been yelling at me, like, yo. You got to get out the you room. You got to come out the room. We got to film. Right. Like, you got you, some stuff to you say. You can come film, but you're going to have to change the direction of the show. <laughs> Final scenes of the show show the couples wrapping it up for the night and getting ready for bed. And that was pretty much it for episode five. That's Season it. 11... You know, we put five people together <laughs> and they like chill. Matter of fact, this could have been an article. Like, <laughs> like, one of them liked the other one. One didn't really like the right. was some goofy ones. Right, right. Like, that's pretty much it. Yeah. And one of them lost their ring. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And that's... one don't shave her arms. Yeah. <laughs> Under her arms. That's about, well, you, she ain't shaving underarms. <laughs> this one ain't shaving overarms. <laughs> <laughs> that's true too that's true but that's it sound off in the comment section below let us know what your thoughts of episode 5 is do you think that they are they are dragging us out or did you feel like they gave a lot of good backstory no I don't feel like they did that's my point like this is why y'all are getting a very high level overview <laughs> because I can't even begin to this say like how dragged out this is drone operation overview fly by yeah Come I could have emailed y'all this honestly <laughs> <laughs> but then, married at first sight. Give us something. Give us something. I'm about to switch over. What's the other one? Australia. I know. I heard they get live they over there. They are getting real lit in start Australia. Sneak peeking over there. Right? I'm serious. Hey, hey. What y'all doing over there? I'll be right back. Hey, what y'all doing over there? Exactly. Just to give us some life. So. We thank you guys for watching. We love you guys for watching. And we will see you in the next video. Hopefully if they have something good. Unless it's a rerun from this one right. and I ain't coming back. So I got to do the next one. I'm going to be here by myself. I'm, I'm coming back. I'm telling y'all now, if nothing exciting happens, I'm not going to be here. He ain't coming back, y'all. I'm taking a sick day. <laughs> if I come back alone, you know Patrick's on sick leave. So let <laughs> me know what you guys think. We love you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.